when it is necessary to abandon our humanity, to save humanity. It picks up a couple of years after uh, the events of, of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and it is uh, the, the apes and the humans have been at war in, in that period of time, and uh, things are at a, a pretty dark place. Have you come to save your apes? Woody is a really responsive actor, and we, we do, I think we have a, a very interesting chemistry as, as actors bouncing off each other, but, but he, is, he is in this, for the most part, you know, the, the, is in this dominant position, and, and yet there is a real respect for Caesar, a strange kind of, a strange respect, although he hates apes, there's a strange respect for him as a leader. You are impressive. You're smart as hell. You're stronger than we are. But you're taking this all much too personally. So emotional! I've always admired him. I've watched him over the years, and I was so thrilled that he was he was asked to be part of this and that he accepted it. Apes, together, together, strong, strong. In terms of being an actor, it's the same job in performance capture as it is in any other role as an actor wearing normal clothes. It's just a heck of a lot harder. What's harder about it is playing a character of another species. That's the thing. Especially for me playing the orangutan, and Maurice is a 300-pound orangutan, and I'm a 125-pound woman. What did the humans promise you? No matter what you do, you'll never be one of them. You are a From a, from a, uh, a storytelling perspective, um, from, a, from a sort of metaphor perspective, they just serve, constantly serve, to, to be this brilliant reflector of the human condition. Because we can, we can tell all sorts of stories through about, and learn about ourselves through watching apes being portrayed. You know. This is our last stand. And if we lose, it will be a planet of apes. <laughs>